Hello everybody, back in Saul here for another episode of The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. Oh yeah. And uh, last time we left off here, we're out of magic, so uh, we're gonna have to drink the soup. Screw it, we're drinking the soup! Um... It's the only reason I have it, really, because I'm pretty well stocked on hearts. So, uh... Alright. There we go. Gotta fly between the two air currents. How counterintuitive is that? Um, tons of, uh, tons of bow goblins. Why? Okay, there were only two. Oh, look, there's some magic. Thanks. After I've already eaten my soup, or drank my soup, or whatever you do with soup. Um, <laughs> alright, we head up. Oh, yeah. And once again, we fight an old boss. Oh, this remix of this music. Hey. Alright, we're gonna... Equip this. Okay. Go. Little mini thingies into the sand. This should all seem very familiar, because we've already fought it. However, this time, we're fighting with a fully powered up Master Sword, so... Should make the fights a little easier. Oh god. This sand is pulling me in, stop. Oh, these things are so annoying when you're trying to target the tongue. Alright. Alright, is that half health? See, that's that's the great thing about the hero's charm. You know how much is left in these uh, boss fights. Please, let me get this thing. Oh, it's gonna fly around. Okay, let's kill these little things. Oh, the lag. So I guess the lag is because it uh the remake of this game, so this version was still made like in the same engine as the original, and I guess it's just the engine that can't handle all the stuff that happens. Which, uh, I guess makes sense. I hope they fix a lot of, like, was there a lot of lag issues in Twilight Princess? I don't remember a whole lot of lag issues in Twilight Princess, but, uh, I don't know if, if Twilight Princess HD is being made in a... In a, in a brand new engine, or they're just porting the engine. Oh god. You got me, Mulgera. Yeah, it doesn't work in this version. I'm trying to target its tongue. Interesting. Um. Okay. Come here, Mulgera. There we go. Alright, you're dead. go. Mulgera. Lit up in that. Now we head to the final one. Get wrecked, Bokoblin. Alright. We head in here, and this one's gonna be Earth Temple themed. Which means, uh, Mirror Shield, I guess? That's what we got in that dungeon, right? Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, oh re-dead. Oh, I was going to try to roll past it and be slick, but, uh, apparently not. Dead, though. Alright, let's just try to roll past everything. Oh, God. Oh. There's badness back there. <laughs> no thanks. Um. Hello? Oh, uh, those are the stairs forward. Let me guess, I don't have to place a choo-choo on it. Yep. Because I saw the light thing here. Okay, where's the choo-choos? Oh, there's a choo-choo. Oh, there's a Poe, too. Poe, come here. You're solid now, get wrecked. Okay. Um, let's put you here. Let's try to make it all the way. Again. Ooh, we made it. 
Not bad. We have to do it again, huh? Yep. Uh, badness? Badness here? There's gonna be badness somewhere. Ow. Oh, man. My rolls are all off time now. Um, oh, this one's gonna be rough. We're gonna have to get one all the way over here, and then we're gonna have to run it all the way back over there. Alright. Fair enough, I guess. Come on. Hurry up. Move faster, will ya? Or, let's, uh, let's do this. Yeah, let's get one that's further away. That's a smart idea. Because they will turn back into, uh, liquidy forms, I believe. I haven't tested that in a long time, but, uh, I think they will. So we're not fast enough, it'll, it'll, uh, de-stonify itself. Oh, no, there's a thing. No, get away. Aha! <laughs> ah, the, the stair rose up and took me with it. Get wrecked. Anyway, let's go in here. And, uh, we'll face Jal Hollow once again. Remember this boss fight? It's the big ghost guy. Okay. If we make him solid, we pick him up. Pick him up, I said. And then we roll him into these walls of giant spikes. Now we have an extra special attack that we didn't have in the original fight, which makes this fight a whole lot easier. Um, the hurricane spin. So that'll uh, that'll let us kill Pose faster. Oh, he's gonna breathe fire on me. Don't. Okay. Here. You do. What are you doing? Oh, he he reversed my. He reversed my, uh, movement. That's what that does. Um. There you go. Try to land on me again. Jaw Hall, what's wrong with you? Alright. Okay. Ha. Ah. See, we take out so many now. There's only, what, like five or six of them left now. Which should be one more hurricane spin. Just about. Um, don't. See, just kind of grazing him with the light even stops his attack pattern. Which is nice. Alright. Run some spikes. Oh! So close. Oh, come on. Please. What is going on? Alright, there we go. <gasps> what? No. No way. Come on. That thing was dead. I hit it. I hit the last hit on it. Please. What is this? Jal Hollow fight, even. In speedruns, you skip this whole uh, boss rush thing. You just kind of glitch your way through that big door. But, um, uh, this is not a speed run, nor is it a glitch run. So, we'll do this. Alright. We beat Jalhalla. Finally. And the little Jalhalla drawing lights up on the door. And the whole door, the whole barrier on the door, the seal on it, if you will. Uh, the whole door itself just kind of breaks down, and, uh, the way forward is open. Now let's go through here. And now we're in Ganon's Tower proper. Bunch of, uh, mini blends. Get out of here, mini blends. I hate you so much. Alright. Through another door. All right, this room. So, the way forward is through here. We can't get through here. Not even, uh, you know, bombs or whatever. Oops. Let's do that. Let's re-equip ourselves. All right. Um, 
So bombs won't get through that. But that is the way forward. Uh, going here, we notice uh, the camera pans towards these uh, candle candelabras, I guess. And there are a successive number of candles lit. One, two, three, and four. Oh, we're getting a message here. Hello. Mike, you must remember well the appearance of this room, the shape of the floor, the number of items hanging on the walls. Such things are the keys to solving the riddles that lie ahead. Do not overlook anything. All right. And, uh, this. The sword hilts of my servants who lurk deep in the darkness shall be the guideposts that point to me. Which is, uh, an interesting riddle. Um... I'll explain that in a bit, but let's let's remember the uh, the order of the uh, the candles here. And if we head across this room, we have the same shape of the room. However, this time there are switches, and the camera pans in exactly the same way as it did in the other room, giving away the order. <laughs> Uh, so let's get our trusty boomerang out. So that's one, two, three, and four. Three, four, and a portal opens up in the water. And then we see our good friend, the King of Red Lions. <laughs> We've transported him into Ganon's tower. I see. So this is the portal to which Ganon was able to seep into the unsuspecting world above. Link, we shall make use of this path that Ganon created for himself. If there's anything from the world above that you believe you need, then climb into the boat and enter the Column of Darkness. Oh, there's my boomerang. Alright, so yeah, if we take this, it'll teleport us to uh, the Forsaken Fortress, actually. So that's how Ganon was able to go up and stay in the for Forsaken Fortress. Um, however, we don't need that quite right now. What's around here? Some magic? Sure. Some arrows? Why not? Um, anyway. Let's continue. And actually, the way forward, which, uh, this sort of explains to us. The sword hilt to my servants who look who lurk deep in the darkness shall be the guideposts that, guide to, that point to me. Um, so the darkness is referring to this hole, actually. The way forward is to jump in the hole. And notice he doesn't scream or anything, and it teleports us here. And the sword hilts of his servants, what he means is, uh... Oh, come on. Please. Um... There we go. That one's no good. Um. Come on. Throw me another thing. Alright, so for these ones, you want a spin attack. And, uh. There we go. And the sword remains. And remember the riddle. The sword hilt will guide you forward. So, uh. So the sword hilt is pointing here. We go this way. And once again, we have to fight a uh, phantom cannon. There we go. And the sword hill points this way. Hey. Speedrunners do not do this. Um, they just memorize the way. Because the doors will open regardless of whether or not you beat phantom cannon. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, that one hit me. That's bad, that's bad. Get me to him, get me to him. Alright. Right in front of us. Lovely. Got him. And which way does the sword point? Right here. Beautiful. 
Another one. Hey. Oh, that one did a regular attack. Please. Tennis game you want, okay? Oh. Uh, that was too close. Aha, got him. Where's this point? That way. Good. One more. I forget how many of these we have to do. Oh, missed that jump slash. Okay. Here we go. Ah, uh, this is the last one then. Right. Wires come down. We can't escape this time without actually fighting the Phantom Ganon. Hello? He didn't do a thing. Oh no. This time. Alright, tennis game then. Oh, I swung too early. Please. Oh, I started walking forward. This is bad. Come on. What? I swung. Please. Please. Come on, Phantom Ganon. Die already. I have a Let's Play to finish. I don't have time for this. Come on. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there you are. Hello. Please. Oh, there we go. Get wrecked. And point to the way forward there, obviously. But uh, here, we gain one more treasure. Alright. So this treasure is going to be... Oh, baby. It's the light arrow. Let me take out your bow, use the R, blah, blah, blah. Change arrowheads. Alright. So if you're familiar with the Zelda franchise, you know all about light arrows. So now we have Fire Arrow, Ice Arrow, and Light Arrow. So light Arrow will destroy evil things. <laughs> Alright, so we go through that door and somehow it teleports us back to this room. Alright, and we have one more Phantom Ganon fight. However, this time we have Light Arrows. And one Light Arrow destroys them. Get wrecked, son. Alright. And here's how we get through this wall. We pick up the, uh... Pick up the, uh, the Phantom Ganon sword. And we just have to hit the wall with it. Simple enough, right? Of course. Alright. I realize the time is episode's at, but, uh... Um, shall we end it? I believe we shall end it, maybe. So we do have a bit more of, uh... Hey, you die. We do have a bit more of, uh, of Ganon's tower to go a little bit more. Um, plus I still have a detour to make for, uh, the final two, uh, pictographs. So, let's kill this mighty dark nut. Maybe. This isn't a mighty dark nut, is it? It doesn't have a cape, no. It does have a lot of health, though. There you go. Is dead. Is dead. Alright, so we'll end this episode here. And then we'll, uh... We'll continue on in Ganon's Tower. In the next episode. Let's get down here where it's safe. But, uh... Yeah. So, that's gonna do it for us for today. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.